Okay, I record this just for documenting uh, if it happens next time. Uh, these are a bunch of images I um, tweaked with uh, a time lapse from Gunter Wegner. Uh, I loaded all the metadata from the XF files which have been modified by a time lapse. Uh, this looks good, exactly how I want it. So I select the first nav, mark all, export to blah blah blah, 100% quality because uh, I crop and so on later in uh, FCPX or DaVinci Resolve, decide which one I will use later and now let's go uh, it's uh, 13 03 and 25 when the task started and to being sure that it will not be interrupted i set pm set minus g in the terminal and this shows me oh yes adobe lightroom classic prevents uh, the sleep mode of Mac while it's running, so it's not necessary to caffeinate the Macintosh. Most programs don't do this, even Apple's own Safari in the latest version don't do this, does not do this. Um, and for that normally you have to make something like this, which means do not uh, or provide to set Mac to go to sleep for 3600 seconds, what is one hour? You can check this now in, oops, um, in another uh, terminal windows, pm set minus t, Chup. see, now I have here the caffeine 8. Normally this line is empty, most programs this line is empty because they do not utilize this uh, API. Um, and um, yeah, that's kind of bad because uh, no computer should go to sleep while um, some program is doing something. Okay, however, let's wait for Lightroom Classic. And uh, I'm really interested how long this task will now take and to make sure Uh, the screen is recorded. I disable this screensaver thing. Okay. And uh, now it's also no longer necessary to run the stop by um, Control Z. Um, on the Mac. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, I'm gonna get the coffee, guys.
Maybe this is also interesting. Uh, typically for Adobe programs is they fully utilize the CPU and um, kind of destroy it a little bit faster with that. And my super AMD Radeon with four gigabytes video memory, super fast graphics processor is not utilized at all. And uh, I do not understand why Adobe cannot improve the utilization of GPUs. Uh, if I run DaVinci Resolve or uh, Final Cut, uh, the GPU is fully at the limit and it's much faster than everything what the CPU does. And, uh, and also um, the computer will not heat up that much. Um, the noise you hear in the background, it's, uh, it's the ventilation and it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, want a problem? Get Adobe. Kind of motto of them seems to be. I can't believe it. It's so slow. It's so slow. I make a comparison uh, after this has finished uh, with. Um, With Capture One, unfortunately, unfortunately um, LR time lapse does not support Capture One. That's a little bit a bad thing. It's definitely working only together with um, with Lightroom, but LR does not mean Lightroom. It means uh, I think level and ramp time lapse. Yeah, but kind of it's meaning also Lightroom. <laughs> but it's not a problem of LR time lapse. It's a problem of Capture One. They have no possibility to export the tweakings you do to the images, to the raw images, to a uh, XMP file and Lightroom does so. The completely tweakings are in XMP file. Uh, so for that there is also an interchangeability um, between uh, cap uh, between uh, Camera Raw and Lightroom. De facto it's the same engine. No. I have unfortunately no tool to measure the temperature, the temperature of the CPU and GPU. Uh, if someone of you can uh, recommend one, please write it down in the comments. And it's hot, more than 30 degrees outside. I'm gonna tan a little bit until this is finished. This has finished.
Hey, fertig! Gibt's ja gar nicht. Ah, das ist nicht einmal eine Belastung von ähm, Adobe, sondern von Camtasia. Gut, gut, 